This is a Skywatch Media News special report for April 22nd, 2019. Earlier this month, an international panel of experts gathered at the NOAA's annual Space Weather Workshop, and they made a startling forecast for the upcoming solar cycle. They predicted that the Earth would be heading into a long and deep solar minimum, a period of very low activity that would last for quite some time. If they are correct, then sunspot counts will continue to decline between the summer of 2019 and the fall of 2020, to be followed by a prolonged period of much colder temperatures across the globe. So far this year, our sun has been without sunspots nearly 60% of days, a sign that solar minimum has arrived due to a decrease in magnetic waves. Fewer solar waves indicates that the sun is becoming cooler, suggesting that solar minimum will deepen even further, resulting in temperature drops around the planet. The International Panel of Researchers led by NASA and the NOAA released its new prediction for the solar cycle, stating that solar minimum will potentially deepen to a century class low within the next year or so and could last for several years. The last time a deep solar minimum was in effect was the Maunder Minimum, which saw seven decades of freezing weather. It began in 1645, and it lasted through the year 1715. And it happened when sunspots were exceedingly rare. During this period, temperatures dropped globally by 1.3 degrees Celsius, or more than 2 degrees Fahrenheit, leading to shorter seasons and, ultimately, food shortages. As shown in this flowchart, Low solar activity is associated with an increase in cosmic rays that reach the upper part of the atmosphere, and is also known to have consequences on Earth's weather and climate, resulting in lower level cloud formations. A blank sun is a sign that the next solar minimum is approaching with increased spotless days over the next few years. Changes in the sun, both large and small, can influence both space weather and weather here on Earth. According to the Thermosphere Climate Index, monitored by the Space Agency, the top of the Earth's atmosphere is nearly 10 times cooler now than it was during the record-setting solar maximum of the years 1957 and 1958. On a word of caution, you may have noticed that a number of social media groups and internet websites have been warning that we are headed into a super deep solar minimum, very similar to the Maunder minimum, which will cool the earth and save the world from climate change, what is now referred to as a mini ice age. But this is not what the international panel has indicated will occur in the foreseeable future. What they have said is that solar cycle 25 will be weak, a downward trend that has been happening since solar cycle 22. But according to the latest forecast, the new cycle will not be weak enough to create another 70-year minimum like the one that happened back in the 17th century. In other, in other words, there will be fewer solar storms, but they will still occur. And when they do, they could deliver quite a punch to our magnetic field. It is important to note that the sun's magnetic field is weakening, which allows an influx of cosmic rays to enter the solar system. The energy particles from deep space can penetrate the Earth's atmosphere with consequential effects, including upper atmospheric electricity and higher doses of radiation. Furthermore, the sun dims, which causes the upper atmosphere to cool and contract, 
which then affects the operation of many satellites that orbit the Earth each day. The April 5th prediction from a panel of solar scientists is preliminary, and a refined forecast is set to be released by the end of 2019. It looks like there are many more chapters in this story, so stay tuned. If you're an avid sky watcher, as many people have been throughout the centuries, there will be moments of astonishment when an object or a manifestation suddenly appears or takes form in the sky. There are also sun worshippers who profess to be eyewitnesses to erratic changes with the sun, changes that the whole world will see. With the advent of a cell phone technology, there has been many published images and videos of meteors and all forms of celestial or extraterrestrial appearances, apocalyptic cloud formations, even manifestations of religious significance in the heavens as well as upon the earth. But how do we know what's real or believable? Has anything actually changed? Just recently, a sky watcher from Casper, Wyoming, while in the process of capturing images of cloud formations, claims to have seen the planet Nibiru appearing well above the horizon on a clear and sunny day. The observer indicated that the blue planet-like object was not a lens anomaly. He claims it was real. Take a look. This is what was captured right here and also in these close-up images. The eyewitness says he took a second photo of the blue orb after it had disappeared behind the clouds. What is intriguing about the second image is that it does appear to be visible behind the clouds. An almost perfect circle looks to be visible in the exact spot where the planet-like object was located just prior to the clouds obstructing the view. Because there are so many images presented for review, the credibility of the observation belongs with the eyewitness who claims to have captured an object or a manifestation of interest. It's then left for us to determine if there is any validity to the published report. It is you who must determine the merits of the presentation. On April 13th, residents of Denver, Colorado caught this image of a large black smoke ring above the city, floating idly by while continuously changing its shape. Baffled eyewitnesses quickly took to social media to describe the mysterious cloud-like phenomenon. Various explanations were provided, including aliens, insects, or a flock of birds. Whatever it was, it lasted for nearly five minutes. The longer the smoke ring floated in the air, the more twisted the shape became due to changes in wind speed and the direction above the ground. A video camera mounted on the roof of a local news station facing west captured the remnants of the smoke ring as it appeared. Finally, someone came forward to explain the origin of the mysterious smoke ring. As it turned out, it wasn't aliens, a flock of birds, or even a horde of insects that produced the strange sight. The actual origin of the strange black circle in the sky was from a cannon shot off during a Supercross event held at Mile High Stadium, where an image of the ring floating high above the stadium was forwarded to a local news affiliate. Many of the things that we see and witness on this planet can and often do have a reasonable explanation, but there will always be moments in time that fall into the category of the unexplained, and therefore it becomes important to be able to read between the lines of what's real and what's imagined. As you look to the sky, Set your goals on what lies above you, but move slowly. Envision every step of the way. 
It is every small step that will make your journey complete. Thanks for watching.